I'm going to try something new today. I'm uh, visiting in the Bay Area, my girlfriend, and I'm going to read this story that I found on the shelf of a boy named Luca that I used to babysit for. It's called Hands Are Not For Hitting by Meriton Agassi, illustrated by Marika Henlon. Hands come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. There are lots of things your hands are meant to do. Hands are for saying hello. Glad to see you. Como estas? Guten tag. Jumbo. Ni hao. Bonjour. Hey doggies, want to join me? Hudson, come here. Here's, here's a cute little Hudson doggie. Say hi to the friends. Say hi. There they are right here. Look. <laughs> hands are for greeting and communicating. There are many friendly ways you can use your hands to communicate. You can shake hands. Try it now. Shake hands with the person next to you. I do that at church. You can wave to a friend. You can draw pictures or write words. I can tell a story with my hands. Says this boy right here. There's something that hands are not for. Hands are not for hitting. Hitting isn't friendly. Hitting hurts. How does it feel when someone hits? It hurts a person's body. It hurts a person's feelings too. I'm sorry, he says. That's what I have the kids do in class. Comfort the other person who got hit. Why do people hit? Sometimes they feel sad. Peter never plays with me. She's jealous. I want that toy, she says. Scared? Here comes that kid who teases me. Angry. I don't like it when my sister takes my things. Sometimes people want to be the boss of someone. Have you felt these ways? Maybe you wanted to hit someone, but hands are not for hitting. There are other ways to let your feelings out. Can you think of more ways to let your feelings out? Let's see, what are they doing? Somebody's playing music, harmonica, writing, playing with Play-Doh. We can use our words. There's a smart girl. After a while, you'll feel better. When that happens, you and your hands can play again. Hands are for all kinds of playing. Here they are playing with puppets. That's one of my favorite things. She's doing a shadow puppet. If you have a flashlight at home, you can do that. How do you use your hands to play? Hands are for learning, for counting, tying, painting, and asking questions. This is a really good book. Hands are for making music, for snapping, clapping, or tapping out a beat. Can you tap out a beat? Give it a try. He's playing guitar. I play a little guitar too, but I'm not very good. I think I showed you guys that. <laughs> Hands are for working together. Here they are at the beach. Hands are for playing, learning, doing, and building. Hands are not for hitting. Hitting is never okay. She's mad. So what can you do when you are you and your friend don't get along? I think we know. You can try to solve the problem together. You can talk about it. You can listen. We can build it back up again. So if somebody smashes your castle, let's work as a team together. You can try to understand how your friend feels. Your friend can try to understand how you feel. You can think of ways to make things right. Okay? Now they're happy and getting along. 
What if your friend yells, kicks, pushes, or hits? You don't have to fight back. You can walk away. You can find something else to do or someone else to, to play with or an older person who can help. Mom, sister, grandpa, my teacher. You can tell your friend hands are not for hitting. Hands are for keeping safe. Think of all the ways your hands can keep you safe. Here he's buckling up in the car. Hands are for helping. There are many ways you can use your hands to be a helper. He's feeding the guinea pigs. She's putting the books in the bookshelf. And the other girl's putting away toys. And he's sweeping and she's holding the, the pan. How do you make yourself handy? These guys are all cleaning up their classroom. Hands are for taking care of you. They're for putting on pajamas and washing your face, combing your hair, brushing your teeth, turning out the light at bedtime. What do you do to take care of you? Hands are for helping, hands are for caring, hands are for keeping you healthy and safe. Hands are not for hitting. Hitting isn't safe, she's thinking. Hands are for being kind and showing love. Here she's getting a kitty out of the tree. Go ahead, high five the person next to you. Hands are for saying, sayonara, ciao, bye, adios, see you later, alligator. That's what I say to my kids. So long, kwaheri, adieu, take care. Zajan. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one right. <laughs> Here's a picture of the authors. They look like smart ladies. Good book. Thanks for watching, friends. See you again. Bye. I wonder what's up next. Click on Tumsky to subscribe. Click on the next show you want to watch. Click on the bell for further updates. See you soon.